Today we are going to make some improvements to our standard Pong game. If I click play, you will see my game will work perfectly, my score is going up, my ball is bouncing off the paddle, and when I lose and I hit the red, my game will stop. So before you go further, make sure that you have a perfectly working game. When I click play my game and I click the green flag, you will see that sometimes when it hits the red and I click play again, it will get stuck at the bottom. To avoid this happening, move your ball to any place on your screen and then drag in the go to block right after when the green flag is clicked. This way your ball will always start at the top of your page. The next thing we are going to edit is in our code we have next backdrop over here. We want to be more specific about which backdrop we want to change it to. So if I go to stage and backdrops, I can see that I have my galaxy backdrop here. I could also add more levels. So I could say, well, I would want it to then switch to the canyon after the galaxy. So now I have three different backdrops. So I am going to say, when my score equals five, and instead of using this one, I'm going to use the switch backdrop. I want it to switch backdrop to the galaxy. And then when it hits 10, so I'm gonna use the same code as I did before. I'm going to use the wait until, I'm going to use the score, um, sorry, wrong score, when the score equals 10, then I want to switch backdrop to the canyon. So in this way, we can specify exactly which backdrop we want to change to in which time. So now it switches to my backdrop. Okay, when I finally lose, what I want to now add is a backdrop that says you lose. Okay, so we're going to make our own backdrop. So when the game ends, we're going to say game over. So I go to stage and backdrops and I click on this add backdrop and I'm going to add the plain backdrop and I'm going to make my own backdrop. So here I can click on the paint tool and I choose a color. I want it to be red and then I'm going to click on text and I'm going to type game over. But as you can see, it doesn't look like I'm typing because the colors are the same. So I'm going to change my color to black and now I just go to my select tool and I can make it bigger and I'm also going to add another message, try again. And again, I'm going to make it black. Oops, I can see I have a mistake there. I edit it. So I have try again, go to my select tool, make it a bit bigger. So now I have my very own backdrop and I can name this backdrop at the top, game over. And now when I am on my line, I go to my line code and it says, if touching ball, then stop all. But in between that, I wanted to change to the game over. So now when I click play, it plays my game and I lose and it goes to the game over page. We now want to make sure that all of our sprites hide when it switches to this game over screen. So we are going to go to events and add a when green flag is clicked. And we also going to add when backdrop switches to game over. And when the green flag is clicked, we want the sprite to show. And when it switches to game over, we want it to hide. And we need these two blocks of code 
on each of our sprites. So we can copy um, code over by dragging it and we wait for it to shake a little bit and we drop it into each one. I'm going to drop this one into each one. So we can see now on our paddle, we should have those two pieces of code. They will be on top of each other. And the same here, they will be on top of each other. So when my green flag is clicked, I can play my game. And if I end it, it will go to game over. The very last thing I want to do to my game is I would like to add some music. So again, I'm going to start with when green flag is clicked and I'm going to go to sound and I'm going to click the play sound until done. But when I click here, you can see that I don't have many options. So at the top, I click sounds and I click sounds at the bottom, choose a sound. And I'm going to go to loops because this is going to play a song over and over again. Okay, so I'm going to try out my sounds. I'm going to click choose dance magic. Okay, and this is quite a long sound, but some of your sounds may be quite short. So over here, I can click dance magic and I'm going to add a forever block over that. Make sure you've clicked the until done one. So now when I play, it's going to play my song. As you can see, I have leveled up my game. Have fun.